Hey there guys, gals and non-binary pals. Pride videos, let's get started. Today was going to be uh, basically talking about when I came out and what it was like and what have you, but that's not happening today because Hungary decided to be dipsticks overnight. So in the past 24 hours, thing situation for Hungarian LGBT folk and EU nationals of various countries who are LGBT in Hungary, they've gotten bad. So they've already, they were already being pretty freaking unpleasant to us. But now, as far as I can understand it, we legally don't exist to anyone under the age of 18. Teenagers, school kids are not allowed to learn about LGBT folk. Yeah. If you want to guarantee a generation of trans, of trans and LGBT folk in general end up committing suicide en masse, end up being discriminated against massively, uh, at the very least stopping to a large degree being productive members of society because they're so fucking depressed that they literally cannot work, they can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and when they do, it's a goddamn freight train coming straight at them. Hungary have gone exactly the right way about this. It's not surprising. After all, when you look at the situation in Poland, you have two nations that have right-wing nationalist organization, uh, governments who have actively been scapegoating LGBT folk for years now. And that situation only accelerated during the Trump years because they felt emboldened by... I don't know, the single most powerful country on earth, individual country on earth, basically telling LGBT folk that they don't matter. I am known to frequently, frequently comment on various social media platforms that uh, I've never put my brick down. For Younger LGBT folk, they may not know what that means. Stonewall Riot was started by a trans woman who threw a brick. And worldwide, the brick, often the half brick, is almost a symbol of civil disobedience and civil unrest. We're not all safe. Here in Ireland, there's been hateful homophobic attacks in the last few days. I'm going to record another video about that because I want to talk about that in detail. But even in Ireland, which is definitely now one of the more progressive countries on Earth, we are not safe. And until we're all safe, none of us are safe. Because this vile, toxic hatred can and will be exported. For now, I hope that the EU as a whole sanction Hungary and Poland for their actions over the last few years in the harshest possible terms. But there's a problem. And this is, at its heart, the greatest problem with the EU. EU members have vetoes. So basically, unless they're, as I understand, and I could be wrong about this, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments, EU law is not exactly my forte. But as I understand it, unless they're willing to vote against themselves, it won't pass. And even if they don't get a vote on that, Poland is going to back up Hungary and Hungary are going to back up Poland. So I'm going to kind of go global for a second. It's strange how this happens pretty much in tandem with the Russian Federation clamping down on LGBT rights in a big way. Funny that, isn't it? It's almost as if Hungary and Poland are aligning themselves more with Putin's Russian Federation than with the EU they're members of. I don't know the answer. Polish and Hungarian LGBT folk, if you can, get the fuck out. If you want to. 
as of right now, you still have access to every EU country. And honestly, I think at this point, most of them are better than where you are. But beyond running, I don't know how this can be fought. I, as I said, don't believe in putting down my brick. You form a shield wall, you hold on to your brick until the LGBT children of the future don't have to. Queer kids coming up shouldn't have to go through life wondering, is today the day when some right-wing nut job strips away what little rights I have? I don't know the answer. I really don't. And I've spent a lot of my life trying to figure it out. I mean, one answer is <laughs> one possible route. And I'm not sure how feasible this is, but one possible route would actually be to essentially form a fifth column within governments. Get lots of gay people closeted, willingly closeted LGBT folk into governments and then just overturn the whole fucking lot using govern governmental powers. That's not really feasible. It's not really possible. But it's a weirdly attractive dream in some ways. Riot. That's what pride should be. It's a I always view pride as a civilized riot. It's we're celebrating, let us celebrate, or next time we will riot. There is power in that, a lot of power in that. Funnily enough, just look at the Eastern European countries that are currently clamping down because that's how they got rid of their Soviet style dictatorships. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I didn't want to start my Pride videos with a video like this, but... For now, uh, with the improvement of things in the States, I'm moving my annual donations, which I have a few, but I'm going to move them over to LGBT organizations in on mainland Europe in threatened countries, wherever I can. Beyond that, what can you do? Anyway, I'm not going to sign off on a happy note because there isn't one. Anyway, just pray to whatever gods you believe in for our brothers and sisters and others in Poland and Hungary, specific, particularly Hungary today, seeing as they're being ruled by an absolute bastard. Uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.